Ben Zood and welcome to another video in our series here at Jitai Academy. It is coming up on the 1st of July. Everyone knows July 1 is Raise Your Haircut Prices Day in the USA, but July 1 is also, ding, 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 the whistle, the buzzer, end of the first half. That's right, half the year is gone, half the year remains. And there's no better time, any day's a good time, but there's no better time to look at the calendar, look at the books and go, hey, how am I doing? Great time to be asking that question. Let's talk about a couple things you can do to analyze your mid-year numbers to strategize the second half of your year. Number one, total revenue. Look at where you are year to date in total revenue. Now, if you are a barber, it is realistic to expect that first half revenue should be about 50% of total year revenue. Barbering is fairly consistent throughout the year. If you're a stylist or salon professional, especially one who focuses on hair color and other of the, uh, what we'll call additional services, if you will, first half revenue should be probably less than 50% of your year because your year is going to be back end loaded due to the back to school season and the holiday season coming up November, December. You can expect to do more than 50%, maybe as much as 60 in the second half. So take a look at your first half numbers, know who you are, ask yourself, do I like the number? If I double my first half number and that gets me to the end of December, am I going to be happy with my year? If you're liking the number, double down on what you're doing, it's working. But if you're not liking the number, well then you need me, you need Jatai Academy, you need help, you need support, you need strategy, you need plans, you need to do what you got to do so the second half number is bigger than the first half number. And by the way, stylist hair color friends, don't count on the second half being 60 points just because I said it might. You still need to be proactive and aggressive in loading up this back half of the year. So total dollars for the year to date, is it half or is it more or should it be? Great statistic to track. Next thing you should be taking a look at is your chair occupancy, what we call ROO, rate of occupancy, the mathematical representation of the question how busy are you? It's the answer to the question of the haircuts that you can cut, how many did you cut? So you take your total capacity divided by the total number of haircuts that you did. Real simple, if you do two haircuts an hour, 10 hours a day, five days a week, your capacity is 100 haircuts a week. If you did 75 haircuts, you were at 75% capacity. If you do two haircuts an hour, eight hours a day, five days a week, uh, that's 16 a day, that's 80 per week. If you did 60, you're 75% occupied. See how that math works? Now, because of the ups and downs in the weeks and the days of the year, any one week is not a good enough picture or snapshot of your week. So we calculate occupancy on a six week rolling average. What we mean by that is if you're looking at the end of June for a mid-year assessment, you want to take the last two weeks of May and the four weeks of June, calculate your occupancy for those individual six weeks, add them up and divide by six because that's the most recent business you've done over a six week period and it will be a true and accurate representation of the health of your business. Look at that occupancy number. For comparative purposes, it would be great if you can go back and do this for the last six weeks of the year, maybe the last two weeks of December, but remember those are artificially inflated due to holidays and the first four weeks of January, which can be artificially depressed as a result of the aftershock of the holiday season. But either way, it's six months ago with a six week reference. And realistically, you calculate this six week rolling average every week. You lose the oldest week, you add the newest week, and every time it is the most recent six weeks. Rate of occupancy is one of the most accurate reflectors of the health of your chair. So the first statistic was year to date dollars. The second statistic was rate of occupancy. I think the third statistic to measure the health of your business is retail dollars. You can do retail dollars 
on a same six week rolling average concept, take home hair care product dollars are a very accurate reflection of the health of your business. Product buyers are happy, happy clients stay and happy clients send their friends. If your retail dollars are really, really poor, it's an overall reflection of how your business is going. If your retail dollars are climbing and growing, you are doing the same thing. I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy. Thank you for tuning into this video. It's a deep subject with lots of intricacies and my job is to help you make sense of it all. Jatai.net, J-A-T-A-I.net on the web. Have a great day.